Who said vegetable soup is boring? Not this one. It's creamy, chunky, and everyone loves it. So I'm just getting started with some of the vegetable prep because there's a lot of vegetables involved in this soup recipe. So we're basically gonna have all the usuals, onions, carrots, and celery, and lots of potatoes as well. And in addition, we're gonna use some frozen corn and frozen peas. Depending on what kind of potatoes you use, you can actually just leave the peel on, but because these have a tougher skin, I'm gonna go ahead and peel them. But if you have some nice buttery potatoes, feel free to leave that skin on because it adds a bunch of nutrients, it adds fiber, and it also thickens the soup as well. And now we'll just chop up the potato. Cut it in half, half again, and then into small cubes. I'm also just gonna go ahead and chop up some garlic. The recipe calls for two, so immediately just double that. <laughs> or just in my mind, I always double the garlic. When it comes to chopping vegetables, it's a good idea to chop everything about equal in size if you can help it. And it's also a good idea to chop them a little bit smaller as well because they cook faster that way and add a lot more flavor to the soup. And now it's time to throw everything into the pot. We'll start with the onions, carrots, and celery. We're gonna season with salt and pepper. And we wanna cook the mirepoix, which is basically the onions, carrots, and celery at a medium temperature, not a high temperature. Cooking it at a medium temperature is just going to really develop that flavor and bring out the sweetness in those vegetables. So just kind of wait for a few minutes and it should be nice and translucent. And once the vegetables are nice and soft, we're gonna go ahead and add the potatoes, garlic, and thyme. And don't forget to season all the layers. When it comes to making soup, you wanna season every single time you add something to the pot. That's just going to really round out the flavors and make it extra delicious. Just make sure not to add too much salt because it's hard to remove the salt at the end. It's much easier to add in the end. Give it all a good stir. And then we're going to add three to four cups of vegetable broth. Once the mixture comes to a boil, you can lower the temperature to low and then add the lid and simmer for about 20 minutes until the vegetables soften. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's check up on that soup. It is looking good and the potatoes look nice and tender. It's always a good idea to use a fork to just make sure that they're fork tender. So I'm just gonna grab a potato and just do a quick little test. Look at that, it pierces through just like butter. So we know that the vegetable soup is ready now. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and blend it, but not all of it, because I like to see a little bit of chunks in this vegetable soup. So what I'm gonna do is actually remove some of the chunky vegetables into this bowl, then blend it, and then we can put everything back together. Because we're not using any flour in this recipe, the potatoes is what gives it this nice thick consistency. So blending it, you're really gonna achieve that thick, hearty soup texture. To blend the soup, you can ladle it into any blender you have and get it to a nice creamy consistency. What I like to do is I like to use an immersion blender because it's one less thing to get dirty and it's just so much easier to blend the entire soup in the pot instead of doing it in batches. This thing is pretty, whoop, whoop. it's pretty affordable and so useful, I use it all the time. So you can blend this as much or as little as you want. I think some chunks are totally okay, especially because we're adding some of that chunky vegetables back in there as well. So let's go ahead and add said vegetables back in. And we're gonna add a couple extra vegetables as well. We have some frozen peas that no longer look frozen, some frozen corn. And because this is a creamy vegetable soup, I love to finish it off with some milk just to give it that nice creamy look and texture. You can use any milk you want. Oat milk works really well, almond milk, or just any kind of regular milk as well. And don't forget to season as you go. So we'll add another scrunch of salt and pepper. At this point, we just wanna mix everything together until it's warm through making sure that that milk gets incorporated into the vegetable soup and everything looks nice and creamy. And time to serve it. That looks so creamy, so hearty, so delicious. Perfect if you're kicking off the new year with something a little bit on the healthier side, something a little bit lighter, but still keeps you warm and cozy. All right, let's finish it off with a little bit of garnish of some parsley. Time for a taste test. Grab a spoonful of all the vegetables. Good soup. Seriously, that was so good and it's perfect for the winter months and actually I enjoy this all year round. If you do try the recipe, please tweet me, DM me, Facebook me, send me a message on my website or on Instagram. Let me know how you like the recipe. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with friends and family and I'll see you at the next video.